Okay, well, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and do this today. Still running my same old mobile one paint scheme, the boring. Fortunately, though, the playoffs are uh, somewhat coming, so, uh, yeah. Things should uh, get interesting soon, I guess. I'm gonna start doing three of these per day, so there's gonna be probably one more after this. It's 6.54 right now, so I don't really know. I might get lazy once it gets to 7 o'clock and just, like, want to doze off the rest of the day like I uh, normally at least used to do. <sighs> so, you heard me correct in the last video. One Alonzo Lerone video autoplaying ruined my whole life. I, once again, nothing against him. It's just, it's just the very, it's just the inconvenience. Also, we, we can expect to see some uh, new paint schemes from other drivers in this race, though. And also, Mobile One, uh, I don't know why, but to me, it just really fits the red, white, and blue, uh, sort of thing. I guess it's because it kind of is red, white, and blue. Then again, what NASCAR sponsor isn't red, white, and blue? I'll be honest. A lot of NASCAR sponsors have, like, the colors red, white, and blue, and you don't even realize it. Until you see it in, like, a patriotic race. Also, I'm gonna change the setup to loose this time. Because, uh... Yeah, see, it was a stable setup last time. And I know because it saved your setup from last time, I think. So I'm going to go out to the track, do one little, not even a, not even one practice lap. And I've already got damage. I thought they said they fixed something like that. Uh, apparently not. I'm going to just check my braking marks, though, because... Ooh, I was off by a bit. Oh, crap. Okay, well, I destroyed my primary car. Uh, skip to next session. I'm gonna go to, uh, qualifying. Because <laughs> of qualifying, hopefully the car won't be broken when I go. And, uh, well, maybe I can actually drive. No previous winner. Let's see if anyone's running a new paint scheme. Uh, if I had the Suarez one, there you go. William Byron's running a uh, bit of a special scheme, I guess. I mean, it's not really that special. Also, I really love these action shots. I don't know why. I'm just, for some reason, really weirdly fascinated by seeing like car, NASCAR stock cars up close right before they hit the track. I guess it's just a fetish or something. Uh, which, I mean, I guess I shouldn't say that, but whatever. It's time to head out to the track. Hey, my car's not broken! Woo woo! Woo, yeah. Timed qualifying? What is this? Formula One? IndyCar? Don't the. Didn't these guys used to actually make games like that? Yeah, that's what I'm fucking talking about. Oh, this race is gonna be bad for me. I know I was saying road courses are my strong suit. How did I hit a wall barely last time, and the whole entire car was broken? But now, I hit the wall so hard that I'm pretty sure I like flew out the window or something. Yeah, that's right. I flew out the plastic windscreen. And, uh, I... There's no damage. This game doesn't make any sense, man. I'm telling you. They can't even get the damage model. Oh, God. Or the brakes. The brakes are so inconsistent. If I hit the brake a quarter of a millimeter ahead of where I did, I would have stopped before I got in the corner. Alright? And that's just the way the game is. I mean, in Heat 5, you don't have to do this. You don't have to smash on the brakes that early. Then again, Heat 5 is not a good representation for literally anything. Except maybe how to ruin NASCAR gaming. Even this is... I, I just... I kind of like this game, I'll be honest. Uh, don't, uh... Don't, uh... Don't bash me for saying that, but this game isn't, isn't half bad. Yeah, but I'm gonna just, uh... Go from the back and see if I can, uh... Does that be a good learning experience, I guess? I mean, considering I'm in good equipment, 
I think it might be actually kind of irritating to drive through this lower traffic. But, uh, hey, I won't have to worry about throwing a win away if I didn't have a shot to win in the first place, right? Yeah. Also, previous winner, Chase Elliott. I'm gonna go ahead and put that up, up there. Uh, you can There's no sound in this game. I don't know what it is. Like I said, I probably got a special copy because the game is actually good. But at the same time, it doesn't have any sound anymore. So, yeah, I definitely got a, uh, a very weird copy of this game. That nobody else got. Maybe a few other people. I picked this up in a store, and instead of charging me 70 bucks, they charged me 30 bucks for it. So I don't... Oh, boy. Definitely a learning experience. I've learned to never, ever, ever start in the back of the one of these things ever again. Oh, God. They... Oh, yeah, I've also learned that uh, nothing's changed from Heat 5 in terms of braking. The AIs still, uh, break when they see another AI breaking, no matter how far ahead it may be. Because I've, I started in, uh, about 40th place, and, uh, if you look over to the side, if it's not too small, obviously, you may or may not see that I have moved up to, uh, n it was 15th, now it's 11th place. That's way exaggerated damage for that, I'm sorry, bro. I know I packed I kind of packed a punch on him, but that's still, that damage is still really exaggerated. And I didn't have anything to do with it, once again. I'm, they just hit the brakes too early. It's good, I guess, when you want to, like, pass everybody at once. But it's really bad when you want to actually do a race, you know, in career mode. Maybe get some progress. It's not very good when, uh, when you're getting brake checked all the time. Oh. If only these cars had horns that you can honk. Oh, that was awesome. I don't know how I'm not dead. The car is probably dead though, so I'm going to have to restart. Because, once again, it's not it's not like NASCAR Heat, okay? If this were NASCAR Heat, obviously I wouldn't restart. Because, uh, well, I can pit and then I can get back up there. You cannot pit in this game. With whether it's a caution or not, you cannot pit without going a lap down. I don't care if it's a road course, I don't care if it's a short track, super speedway, intermediate, whatever. You're gonna go a lap down, no matter what you do, no matter how big, how matter, no matter how slow the other cars are going. Hell, it, it's a caution. You can still, you will still, no doubt, go a lap down. I've never had one pit stop where I didn't go a lap down. Also, I just. Made Christopher Bell have a fatal wreck, and there's not going to be a caution for it because there's no cautions at road courses. Last lap of the stage here. The car does not turn. It does, but it barely does. and Well, it barely hangs on, too. So, uh. Fortunately, 12th here is good at any other track, any other type of track, literally. Or uh, a left handed road course. A left hand first turn road course it would uh this would be a very bad scenario I've put myself in fortunately I've been spared by the racing gods and we're racing at Road America which is actually a pretty good track for me I'll be honest uh, I'm still getting PTSD every time I come here though from one time I was doing an Xfinity race here in heat 5 and uh, I ended up uh, wrecking myself in the last turn while I was leading and I did a 100% race without bringing out cautions on purpose hours and hours it took so uh if you ever watch that Instagram live stream I did a YouTube live stream about it. actually no I, I did a YouTube live stream about it like a dip I actually don't remember if that was here or if that was at uh the Indy Road course I think it was the Indy Road yeah, it was the Indy Road Course. I, I remember now. I did this as a alternative in the same stream. But uh, it was the Indy Road Course. Last, la It wasn't even the last turn. It was the first turn, last lap. You know that stupid BS penalty you get? Yeah, Jeremy Clemens passed me uh, coming to the white flag. Somewhere around the last chicane. Uh, I remember it vividly, too. I was on the wheel. It was the last lap. 
We're coming to the white flag. We I dove it into turn number one. Absolutely dove it into turn one. Uh, and I I made the corner. I made the corner pretty good. But the problem was I hit the rumble strip. And apparently the game didn't like that. So I ended up, you guessed it, getting penalized on the last lap. My car turned invisible. And, uh, well, that was the race over. I finished, like, 7th or something. Well, I restarted the race right after that happened anyways, but... Yeah, so, uh, if we go to the Indy Road Course, when we go to the Indy Road Course, I'm going to have, uh, PTSD. Even though I, I've done the Indy Road Course in this game plenty of times. Oh, 12th isn't good. God dang. I forgot. The inside lanes and the outside lanes. So, left-handed road course, that would be good. Oh, golly. Good golly, Miss Molly. Let's not. Little Richard. Alright, let's send. I'm on a full send. I'm full send mode right now. I want to get a ride with Team Penske next year. But if I want to do that... Whoa! Denny got hooked and it wasn't even me. Wow, I was trying to preserve Denny there, I'll be honest. I, I've, I'm i kind of a Denny Hamlin fan, not gonna lie. Obviously, Joey's still my favorite driver, but I put a Denny Hamlin sticker on the back of my school computer so everyone can know that, uh... Also, I, I think everyone in the school, <laughs> at least if they pay attention to me, I'm pretty sure they think I'm, like, a giant Denny Hamlin fan. I mean, I guess I kind of am, but, like, they think I'm even... They probably think I really am. Because, like, I remember uh, I used to be obsessed with, like, Denny Hamlin's tandem on Ryan Newman in the Daytona 500. It was, like, back September 2020 or something. And that was the last time the school let us change our uh, profile pictures. So, uh, you guessed it. I put a Denny Hamlin 2019 Daytona 500 celebration as, uh, like, in the grass as my profile picture. So, I have a Denny Hamlin profile picture uh now i've got a denny hamlin sticker on the back of my car like really oh i'm about to win two in a row by the way i'm not trying to do this i told you road america was one of my strong suits shouldn't have said that <laughs> I, I i could see it coming from a mile away from a literal mile away like on the other half of the track mile away I, f I knew oh no I did the De Benedetto I did the Matt De Benedetto I literally did the Matt De Benedetto 2019 if you didn't watch that race it was an Xfinity race not a cup race you know they didn't run here back then it was an Xfinity race Jeff and I were watching it took place on a nice Saturday afternoon as Xfinity races normally do uh yeah, it was fun. De Benedetto was doing really good in that race. Could have had a shot to win. Last turn, he was running third. Obviously, he didn't have a shot to win then. The field was strung out. But, uh... And then, at the bottom of the screen... You could see a, a little car. A little car. You could see a uh, car... Well, you could see a plume of smoke in the sand trap right there. In that same spot where I was. And then, it might be the, like, the announcer, one of the announcers, I think it might have been Joey Logano, said, I think that might be the 18. And then, Jeff, Jeff and I were just, like, kind of depressed after that. And then, like, after that, Jeff went upstairs, and then I came up and broke the sad news to him that, yes, it was indeed Matt DiBenedetto off in the final turn. Oh, yeah, I forgot we're in a stage right now. So I'll, I'll get another shot at life here in a second, boys. I'll get another shot. My reincarnation shall start. Oh, God. Almost died. Let's not die, please. I do not want to hit that tire thing. That looks like it'll hurt really, really bad. Oh, that looks like it'll hurt even worse. Jesus Christ. Actually, I've, I already hit that other thing. Actually, in this race. So I really, really, really hope I don't blow a tire in this race. Because, uh, there's no restarting at this point, okay? We're about to finish sta stage number two. And I guess we're, like, 
We're like almost halfway through this race. We're like halfway through the race now. <laughs> so, uh, this is, uh, gonna be very not good. There's the brakes. See? Alright, also, uh, I said it yesterday, but... That, uh, Squire Telecaster is mine. It will be soon. So, uh, I'll make a video, uh... It won't come in a box or anything. I'm just getting it from a music shop that Jeff and I walked to. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna make a, a video playing that. And uh, if Jeff gets the check that he's expecting to get, it won't take a month like I was planning to. Uh, and we'll probably be able to get a nice amp because the amp I have, uh, if you can tell by the quality of the music, even though the guitar sucks too, and the uh, very cheap pickups are the reason it sounds that bad. Uh, the amplifier is not very good either, cause it's but it was in the same. It was like a beginner pack, which I'll admit, it, when you unbox that thing, when you're like, when you're like nine or ten, Christmas 2017. So I, I was uh, I was nine, about to be ten. It's a it's a pretty damn awesome thing. I mean, you get an electric guitar, you get an amplifier. That has high, pretty high distortion. Like, everything is just fine in your rock and roll life. Unfortunately, I ended up breaking the guitar anyways, where now it only has four strings. Oh, I got a shot to win this race, by mistake. I think I'm gonna not try to win. I'm gonna try not to win. This is the try not to win at Road America Challenge. Go Redick. Oh god, no, go Byron. We like Byron around here. Why do you think I was celebrating? I really wish this year could rep be replaced with the summer of 2019 because I was probably the biggest William Byron fan in the whole ass world and it was all because AJ's favorite driver was Alex Bowman and I said I might I should probably get a new young favorite driver because you know uh, my favorite was Jimmy Johnson since 2018 and we all gotta admit Jimmy Johnson was not the most stellar in his final few years. But, uh, my favorite, I was, I had, like, three favorite, dri main favorite drivers that, like, I'd kill to see them win. I would have actually killed to see them win. It was, uh, top of the charts, obviously, William Byron. Uh, second place. I, I think William Byron and, uh, Jimmy Johnson were actually sharing. Oh, God. It's supposed to be a try not to win challenge. I actually try not to get a fucking corner cutting penalty. But yeah, and then Kyle Larson was up there too. It's funny me saying I would have killed to see Kyle Larson win in 2019 when I'm over here like semi complaining. I get I don't really do it anymore, but I did like back then, like in August or whatever. I'd be like crapping on Kyle Larson the whole time because of AJ. Uh, three drivers that I used to always really like in the three series: Ty Gibbs. As recently as a year ago, February last year. John Hunter Nemechek, once again last year, March. And, uh, uh, also Austin Sendrick, who I, I still really like, as you can probably tell. I mean, I'm a Penske guy in general. But Joey Logano is my favorite. Also, Sendrick drove the 22. And Why am I in the lead? I'm, I'm, I'm just talking about random nonsense. Oh, I want to have a nice battle. Come on, Redick, let's play a game. It's called Hit the Brakes. Oh, it's called Not Get Sent Into Turn 1. It's called Not Spin Yourself Out Exiting Turn 1. I'm the loser. Oh, I sent it. I did that in a practice, too. And in qualifying. I sent that corner twice. Wait, no, I sent the first corner in the practice. Yeah, and I sent that corner in qualifying. Oh, yeah, and I smacked into the wall, and th there wasn't any damage. Yeah, I think it's safe to say, as much of a shot as I had of winning that race, I should have stayed that far out in the lead, because I would have needed it. So far, for road course on my strong suit. I'm not the biggest fan of this one, though, I'll be honest. Like, I guess I kind of like Road America, but it's not, like, to the extent to where I, like, 
for example, Coda in this game. That's like the best road course in the game, I'll be honest. My favorite road course in every NASCAR game, though, and my best is Watkins Glen. Probably because, I'll be honest, it's the easiest. I used to think it was, like, some kind of accomplishment that I won, like, every single race I ever did at Watkins Glen, which is, like, 20-something in Heat 4. God. Obviously, my stats are all, all fucked up now, because I simulated every race in my career mode. But... <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of the fun times. When I was in 6th grade, didn't have to be afraid of get, having to get a part-time job over the summer. Didn't have to worry about uh, maintaining my wife and three kids, because I'm a grown man now. <laughs> That's the joke Jeff and I always make, like, because you know my voice used to be so high-pitched, and now, like, Jeff's just like, well, now you're a grown man with a wife and three kids. I mean, he doesn't know that I have a girlfriend, but, yeah. Whoa! I'm trying not to kill people. Uh, I'm gonna get behind him now. Yeah, this is F1 now. You have to serve a penalty for running into somebody. <laughs> Alright. We, uh, fortunately, I outbreak everybody in this game. Uh, and by that I mean arc a break. Let's hope I didn't just, uh, screw myself. I... Uh, by the way, I got all this damage. This isn't even from what I just did. I or from what I smacked into the walls or anything. This damage is all from lap number one. I sent it into this corner over here. I barely hit the back of Daniel Suarez though. Actually, I didn't send it in. I was just on the sidelines or whatever. I was on the runoff. That's what it's called. <laughs> yeah, I, basically I was over here on the runoff. And then Daniel Suarez was going super slow. And I hit him about, about that speed. And yes, it gave me all this damn... Edge, which really really annoys me what doesn't annoy me but also kind of annoys me is that i'm in the lead and i uh i got a geyser of smoke coming out of my car i absolutely hate that about this game that's something they gotta fix also i think i need to stay in the lead not because i want to win the race necessarily actually to be honest i don't want to win this race it's just that i know uh Number one, the brakes don't really work anyways because the car is broken. But number two, uh, even if the brakes did work, stuff like that's going to happen. I'm going to be a moron. And uh, how did I gain? How did I gain time off of that? Once again, I need the gain time though because I 100%, 110% assure you, this is a promise, I'm not winning this race, okay? As much as... Told ya. Okay, I don't want to fall too far back. Told you I needed that lead. Okay, uh... I, I'm, I'm actually not even going to get a top five. Oh, DiBenedetto just happened. Matt, I was just talking about you. Oh, God. Uh, I'm... I'm 14th now. Because all these guys keep coming. Please... Someone knocked me in the right direction. Thank you, Ryan Blaney, the only driver I can count on. He knocked me back the right direction, and uh, as I as I feared, the car doesn't turn. The car turned even worse than it did earlier. And that's saying something, considering I didn't even make the corner. I really wish cautions could come out of road courses in this game. Unfortunately, they cannot. Let's not hit the wall and die, Blaney, please. Uh, but yeah, alright, let's see if I can, uh, well, battle for 17th. It kind of makes me mad that I can't at least finish, like, second, where's where I was gonna finish. Fortunately, I got another opportunity at, uh, whatever race is next. Uh, let's not wreck each other. He's gonna beat me fair and square. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Oh, man, I got in the grass. That ruined it. I can still do something down here though, cause I don't, I don't think etiquette is in the picture with a car like this anymore. Honestly, my run could have been just fine in like the top, still in the top ten, if De Benedetto, if I hadn't come up a little early. I mean, you have to be aggressive coming out of the grass though. Also, no, I'm not finishing any worse than seventeenth, right? Seventeenth is already pretty bad. No! Oh my God, I got a corner cutting penalty. Oh, for fuck's sake. And there's no way to get it, to get the positions back either, so, uh, there goes my reputation. Thanks, game. 
Oh, nice. And I can't restart the race either, because that'd be cheating. Whew. I'm really glad I won that race at Pocono. Uh, I remember I was saying I regretted it because I wrecked so many people. I don't regret a thing anymore, because uh, I thought uh, this track is uh, one of my better tracks. So I kind of thought I wouldn't get a fucking corner cutting penalty for cutting a fourth of a corner. Uh, I literally got a... If you don't think the corner cutting penalties are ridiculous, because I'll be honest, I kind of deserved it there. But if you don't think the corner cutting penalties are ridiculous, I got a corner cutting penalty at Watkins Glen for running off the track in turn number one. You know, getting in the runoff in turn number one, I can prove it to you too. I'll, I'll literally go to Watkins Glen in the same stream and show you me getting a penalty for like smacking into a tire barrier. It'll say invalidated lap corner cutting, even though I'm like on the outside of the corner, which makes no fucking sense. I guess this kind of means I can wreck anybody I want, though, because uh, it doesn't affect me. And me smashing into a wall in turn one doesn't affect me. Because I'm kind of out of the race at, at this point. Can we not spin? I want to see the aftermath of what I just did. Yeah, that fucking invalidated lap thing, that's kind of... That's kind of a rip-off, because if someone, like, say, you, you could get turned through a corner, and they'll give you a penalty. I know, because they gave me one in NASCAR Heat 5 before for getting turned. Well, I kind of ran out of, we, we ran out of room, okay? It was at Watkins Glen, turn number one, we ran out of room, I spun through a corner, I got a penalty. Like, I was stopping anyways, because, you know, I was wrecked. But, you know, whatever. Give me the penalty. That makes sense. I just I just ruined a whole bunch of guys' days uh, being a lap down. Uh, once again, though, I'm doing the Denny Hamlin thing, and I'm just going to pretend I'm up here. That's what I'm going to do every time I'm a lap down. I'm just going to pretend I'm up there, try to go get the lead, and then when the caution comes out, it'll recycle me back in the, in the uh, back of the lead pack. At least back of the pack. Which is a good thing, because, uh, well, it's a good fucking thing. Yeah, I'm really pissed off, uh, in case you, uh, couldn't tell. Based off what just happened. Me and my invalidated lap. But I'm gonna go out and do something next race. Oh god, it, it's gonna be a stupid track, I already know that. After Road America, I forgot what track it is. But I know it's a stupid track. And then we got Atlanta afterwards, which is a good track. And so, uh, I guess I'll, uh, next time I'll really be happy is gonna be at the, uh, the good old hometown, Atlanta Super Speedway. Which actually this game kind of predicted it then, because this game actually came out after, never mind. But yeah, this game kind of predicted what the racing was going to be like at, at the, uh, at the Super Speedway. Okay, that that race, uh, I'll give it a negative 8 out of 10. It was uh, good when I was leading. It was good when I was, uh... If I could have just caught up to Corey LaJoy, then I could have gotten back on the... In the hunt for positions. Highest I could have gotten, though, was 34th. Damn. And he just got back on the lead lap. So Reddick won the race, deservingly. I uh, got semi-undeservingly screwed at the end. It wasn't really the end. Oh, Atlanta's next. Okay, we're going to have a good time. 